Hello and welcome to The Loop. I'm Matt Bruding. And I'm Teresa Pollack from ODOT District 2. All around the state of Ohio, kids are heading back into the classroom. ODOT invests around $5 million annually into the Safe Routes to School program. The purpose of Safe Routes to School is to improve safety for children as they walk and bicycle to school. Safe Routes to School has been active in Ohio for 10 years. We have funded 585 infrastructure, non-infrastructure, and planning projects, which equal $66 million. And those projects are in 72 out of Ohio's 88 counties. ODOT District 10 has added new pavement markings on US 33 in Meigs County to help drivers know where to go and improve safety. You may have noticed these markings in other parts of the state, but these are the first in Southeast Ohio. In the past, there were concerns about friction, but this new material includes a grit in the paint that eliminates that issue, making it safer for motorcyclists. And our ODOT District 2 paving crew recently caught the attention of some kids in Fulton County. They loved watching the crew work and brought them some popsicles to help them stay cool. The crew returned the favor by dropping off some toys the very next day. Thank you for our toys, ODOT paving crew. Thank you. Thank you. Safe to say that ODOT has some new fans in Fulton County. Ohio rocks, but that's not always a good thing. The Who New Guru explains. Thanks, Matt. Did you know that the Office of Geotechnical Engineering monitors about 6,000 rockfall sites all across the state of Ohio? And more than 1,600 of those sites, they're considered moderate to high risk for rockfall, so they get inspected on an annual basis. And when it comes to repairing these rockfall sites, ODOT is solid as a rock. Who knew? Work is underway on a major project in the Akron area. ODOT District 4 Public Information Officer Brent Kovacs takes us behind the scenes. Today we're in the city of Akron, just west of the Central Interchange, where I-77, State Route 8, and I-76 all come together with over 100,000 vehicles using each ramp a day. This project consists of rerouting Johnston Street so we can remove three mainline structures and replace it with approximately at 100,000 cubic yards of select granular material. The structures will be gone and will be just pavement up top. We're in the middle of a 110 day closure and we should be open late November. This is part of a larger scope to improve access for motorists at the Central Interchange. For the Loop in Summit County, I'm Brent Kovacs. Get more ODOT news online at transportation.ohio.gov. You can find us on social media or drop us an email. We'd love to hear from you. It's loop at dot.ohio.gov. And now you're in the loop.